Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So I kind of figured I would do something fun for this video and in the future. Um, I am a cosplayer, as you know, if you follow me on any of my other social media platforms, even if I don't post about it as much on YouTube, I'll do the occasional con vlog, but that's it. So I figured from now on, whenever I do a costume that seems to be particularly popular and you guys seem to, be, to really like it, I would kind of dedicate a video to it, uh, kind of talking about either where I bought it or how I made it and how I fit it to my weird Abby body because then maybe you could learn something from it or take something from it or it might help you figure out where to buy your next costume, especially if you have an irregular body shape like myself. So today I thought I'd take you through my latest costume, Poison Ivy. I decided to cosplay Poison Ivy for a number of reasons. One being that I just love Pamela. She's just so smart and who doesn't love plants? So that's amazing. Another reason being that I've been kind of on this like a DC Comics kick lately. Uh, unpopular opinion alert, but I'm not really super into Marvel. I don't know, I just I just never found the characters in Marvel as intriguing. I don't know that is an unpopular opinion, but that is just how I feel about it. Uh, so I've been kind of into the DC thing lately. I've been playing a lot of the Batman video games, and I just, I have a lot of fun when I go to a convention dressed as a DC character. Last year was Wonder Woman a lot, and this year with uh, Poison Ivy. People just always seem like, like there's so many other DC costumes that you're just meeting people and having fun the whole time so I really wanted to do her for that sake. I had a really great inexpensive plan going into Poison Ivy. So what I, my plan was is I was going to buy a tank top. I bought it from Walmart. It was like $3.25 and because I'm so short the tank top was going to be very long on me. It actually hits me like between my calf and my knees like mid in there. Uh, so my plan was you know wear it that long, put snaps in between where my legs are and then just individually sew fake leaves all over the outfit. And that's all I wanted to do. So I bought the tank top, I bought the snaps were like a dollar, and then I went to the dollar store and bought a ton of fake leaves. Still didn't end up being enough though. I bought a ton of fake leaves and it ended up costing me about $25. So without the wig, this costume really only ended up costing me about 40 bucks. So that's really not so bad for a whole costume. Now my big error <laughs> was that I don't, I, it's, <laughs> I knew individually selling the leaves was not going to be fun. But I was like, it's okay, I'll do it. But then it was, I'm not a procrastinator and I procrastinated the shit out of this. Like I just kept putting it off, putting it off and I really wanted to wear it to Niagara Falls Comic Con and it ended up like a couple of days before Niagara Falls Comic Con and I hadn't even started yet. And I was like, it's fine, I'll just save her for Fan Expo, I won't do it. And then my mom one day when I was at work, she kind of took it and she started sewing leaves on it and she sewed for that whole day and wouldn't give it back to me. So the reason my Poison Ivy costume is done is because my mom did it essentially entirely by, by herself. So. Thank you, Mom, for sewing hundreds of leaves onto my outfit for me. That's all the body of that outfit is, is just a tank top with uh, leaves all sewn onto it. And then I bought green tights uh, to wear on the bottom because, of course, that's kind of a given. And then the wig is probably the most expensive part of the costume. The wig cost me about 50 bucks, but that's because I bought the wig for Ariel. It's a lace front red wig. And I'm also planning on using it for Barbara Gordon at some point. So I was willing to spend a little more on the wig because it's going for three costumes, you know? And then I felt like I needed a little more greenery. So uh, we took some of the extra leaves and I basically took pieces of tape on bobby pins and shoved the pieces of tape inside the bobby pin and taped the leaves to it. Uh, going forward, I'm probably going to take a piece of fabric and shove it in the bobby pin and hot glue it on. I just didn't have the time because I did that literally the morning of. And then for, for my makeup, I did lots of smoky dark green eyeshadow and then I wore Kat Von D's Plan 9 on my lips because that is a green lipstick and the only one that I've ever seen to be honest unless MAC makes some weird green one but this one is cruelty free and that's what matters. And then just as added decoration because I am in a wheelchair I decided to take some vines that I bought and I put some on my chair and going forward I'm definitely going to be putting way more vines and stuff on my chair because I think that just really adds to the look you know. If you are by any chance want to make a poison ivy costume and you are you know a standable person uh, there's a way that I would have done it. I would have gone more with the video game version of poison ivy and basically what I would do is if you're comfortable with like a bikini bottoms and doing that individual leaf thing do that because that's where her bottoms are but you could just do shorts of course and do the leaf leaves things all, all over the shorts and then in the video game she actually wears a Arkham like red jacket and it meets in the middle so like you can see her her cleave up top and then like her tummy underneath but she's covered here and her arms are covered and I just love that jacket so so if you were looking to make a poison ivy costume yourself I would 100% re recommend that you do that one because it's amazing you're a little bit naked but it's amazing and you should 
rock your naked poison ivy body. But yeah, that's how we made my poison ivy costume, where we, I mean, just my mom, because I didn't actually sew any of those leaves on by myself. I think I did like three of them, but that's it. If you have any questions or comments or ideas for me for maybe future costumes of mine or anything, anything at all, please leave it in the comments below because I would love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.